Well, I'm, I'm a painter, a um, landscape painter, and I've been working ever since I left school, in fact. Um, and I took a journey to beginning with art history and drawing and then into art college. Um, and it was a path that opened up to me. And I now say that painting found me rather than I found painting. Well, welcome. This is my studio. This is the space I use to work in. Uh, a lot of my uh, journeys to the landscape to work start from here. They, I you know, pack up all the gear into the van, and go out and work on the west coast uh, for weeks on end. And I come back here with the work and I <clears throat> finish it by recall. I go back in my memory. Uh, of the experience of being in the landscape and tuning the work that I've started in, in the landscape, I tune it here to resonate with the experience so that, that the two are blended. So you have the actual experience in the landscape and you have the memory of that experience. And if you bring the two together in the painting, I've found it, it gives, it communicates something of the essence of the place, which is the great sort of the elixir that everybody, the, the, the holy grail of, of painting, of trying to capture the essence of, of a place or a thing or a person. A particular way I work is going back to the same place many times. So I have a handful of places that I have a deep relationship with and um, often in the West. And that's one reason I came to live in Dorset and I work outside direct from nature because my teacher Dennis Crefield taught us directly in front of the life model and then the landscape and it's a very direct way of working with the experience of nature in the work. Yes, uh, that the exhibition is called Threshold and it's opening at Messam's in Tisbury, Messam's Wiltshire in Tisbury. Uh, it will run for six weeks to the end of February and um, it's an exhibition of work that's been made over the last year and a half. Part of the work is from Mayo in Ireland, West Ireland, and the other is in, in Argyllshire in Scotland. But it's part of the, you know, all, the, all these places are part of the Atlantic coast. So we're putting the work together in a, one exhibition to present the idea of, as Threshold suggests, that of just thinking of the Atlantic coast as a united cultural frontier. And this work is very much about looking at light, looking at the landscape and that coastline as, as, a, as a unity, as a unified landscape. And I found by traveling in different parts of it in this work, um, the, the, that sense has become really, really strong for me. And, and it's through work that I've understood that. Is the linen uh, canvas, which I, I prime, I prepare, and um, I will then probably take this off the stretcher and wrap it round a board before working in the landscape on it. So um, you see that's got a board behind and this, there are reasons for that um, particularly that when you have a big linen in the landscape it only has to be a light wind for it to blow you and the easel away <laughs> and I Last uh, Christmas, a year ago, I was in, in Mayo on Achel and I was actually holding one of these big boards with the linen on it and even on a board, I actually took off in the air and, um, and I let go uh, when I was about four feet off the ground <laughs> and I, I rolled. Um, and luckily I let go and it, it, it went off into the undergrowth. So I've, I've in fact made the board where I can, um, you can see I can screw the the board on top, and then I keep this. the The source of the colour <coughs> is 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 attached there, so it's like a a system. So I can change the boards, but I don't have to change the the source. And that's what that's the range. And I very very rarely will use that colour directly in the landscape or in the painting. Um, and I will mix it here. Uh, he has been painting for the last 30 years in this location, uh, which is the West, he's 
always concentrated on the western seaboard, at the Atlantic seaboard. That part of Europe, it is the most far the most western part of Europe, has always been a great devotional centre for other people, early Christian monks. And so it is covered in lots of archaeological sites and in particular henges, you know, like Stonehenge. And there's a whole, what is revealed really in this work as well is how they all connect. They, it's not that as though the henges are just isolated on their own, they connect to a whole matrix that runs all over the landscape and is, and is reflective of these stars in the sky. This, um, this touches on something that else is really important with the work I'm doing, which is an aspect of threshold is the movement of nature, that the fact that the sun and the moon, um, the moon's going around the earth, <laughs> the earth is going around the sun, and we're on a journey around, going around the sun, at 365 rotations will bring us back in a spiral back to pretty much another point that we were the year before. This uh, selection of work is quite different actually from the last ones that he's done in the past. He's moved from being quite a, a literal observer of the landscape to being much more uh, abstract and I think that is the impact of this area on his sort of feeling and it comes across and so a lot of them are very impressionistic. Energy and commitment is so great and true and utter to what he lives for and he lives in it and he goes out into the elements and he lives in it and he paints it and he feels it and he spends hours. I don't know how he survives. He's a very extraordinary man because he, he doesn't seem to eat, he doesn't sleep, he just paints. I was thinking how amazingly he had caught those moments in landscape when a storm is over and the reflections on sea or river or valley. I was thinking how powerful they were and I was, I was there in it. I feel I've never felt this calm before an exhibition and um, that's to do with I feel a lot of gratitude to Messam's Wiltshire and the team because we sort of all work together behind the scenes doing our little piece you know our parts in this and um, it's been a wonderful journey of sharing the, the preparation for the exhibition and I think I, and I feel wonderful to be here it's, it's, it's I feel very calm and happy I'm very I'm proud of the work because there's a way that the work is doing its own thing and um, it's, it's in a space that it can show itself in a very, very lovely way, in a very strong way. I do feel as ever that I'm a rider, that the work is like the galloping horse and I'm just the rider. So I'm kind of proud of the horse, if you like, and I know my place.